Hey guys, happy Sunday. Today, instead of just, you know, giving you some insight into business and maybe a step-by-step, -step, I wanted to just show you two tools that I use to manage different types of product projects in my business. And at first I thought I had to choose one or the other, and then I realized that I can actually use both, which I'm really excited about um, because as you know, this year has been a big planning year for me of like trying to figure out which things are giving me the most space to plan and actually move things around, which things allow me to communicate with the different people that I might bring in for those projects. And I, ha I did go through a phase at the very beginning of the year where I wasn't even going in my project manager. So I wasn't going in Asana. I wasn't going into Trello at all. And I started to get a little bit overwhelmed and felt like I kept forgetting things. And so what, I, what I'm doing now is, well, tomorrow you'll be able to re read how I've kind of kind of figured that whole thing out, why I'm forgetting things and how to not forget things. But essentially, my paper planners are kind of like where I record stuff. I do find that part of my process is getting things down physically, even if it's just like a rough sketch of what I'm going to do, my basic plans for the week, what's going to happen. But really, I need accountability. I need external accountability. And I'm not getting a notification from my file effects. I'm getting a notification if something's on my Google Calendar if something is in a project manager of some sort, a project uh, management software, or if someone's working with me and they're expecting something from me. So let me take you inside Asana and Trello. And you might choose, I don't think everybody needs to use two of these. Like my role generally is to kind of flesh out a, a schedule, flesh out what's going to happen, a timeline. And to be honest, like if you're not doing that as part of your job with clients, which I think actually, even if you're not planning things for them, I think if you're giving them things that they need to do by the next time you talk, you could use either of these really easily. So let's dive in and I'll tell you why I love both of them. So Asana allows me to connect with different people on my team. So I can invite people who aren't even on my team, who might just work from with me for a small period of time or on very specific projects. And I can keep certain things back that are just mine, that are just me working things out. And when they're ready to be shared, then I can share them. Um, also, I love Asana specifically for managing my launches because it allows me to lay out all the things that I want to get done, that have to get done, really break it down, really break down the task so I can get things up and off the ground ASAP. And then what I like to do is I like to share it with everybody who might be involved in the project. Not only so that, you know, there's accountability for me, but also so that they can be like, hey, I'll, um, I'll take that affiliate manager job, you know, whatever it is. So sometimes that can happen. Someone says, oh, I'll, I'll handle that page. Don't even think about that. So it allows people to see what's not assigned, what is assigned, when you're thinking things are going to be done. It, it, it really keeps everybody accountable. It's very simple and I love it though. I really love it. I also have been using up to this point, and I'm not sure if this is one of the things that's shifting, but I've also used Asana as, as really my editorial calendar. And and a checklist for me every time that I create a piece of content. What am I also delivering? What is my deliverable? And then what's the deliverable just to get like the blog post out the door, the podcast out the door, all of those various things. So I like that I can make templates of absolutely everything. And that includes my podcast. Like I said, I can make a system for my blog posts, how they're going to get done. I can change that anytime I want. I can make sure certain people have access to those templates, um, people who need them. And I can just start a variety of different projects. One thing I'm working on now is this and some oil love hub, which if, if any of you saw the video that I did where I talked about my business setup in my A5 Filofax, um, I talk a little bit more about that. But there's actually this great video that Carrie from the Female Entrepreneur Association created on how she created her hub, or actually how Natasha Vorampovia created her hub. And I love Natasha, so I just jumped on that. Um, Actually, Natasha has some great training on Asana, so I highly recommend you jump over to Systems Rock. I'll make sure I, I link it down below, and you can just see what she's got. She's got definitely 
a bunch of free resources and she's always doing a webinar or some sort of training on that. So I know you can, you're going to get great value there. So Asana, Teams, multiple people, um, having laying things out all at once, being able to check things off and, and seeing a unicorn fly across the screen. Like, I'm going to see if I can get this to happen. Okay, wait, wait for it. Yes, there we go. See, that's what I, that's what I use Asana for is the unicorn, of course. Um, so that's why I like Asana. And I haven't even do, gone into the, my other uses for it, but my main use for it is when I have a multi-layered project where there's going to be multiple people on it. And I do like the notifications, though I think I have them set up very sparsely coming to me. I actually think I need more notifications um, because I'm not necessarily getting all of them. So then here's another one. And this is Trello. These are not hidden because they're, um, by the way, if you see hidden, it's not, it's actually hidden from me. Mostly it's like stuff that I don't want to totally forget, but I don't need to think about right now. So I have also used Trello to manage my launches. And there, there's a great post by Karen Sargent, um, it's either on my blog, because I, I know she guest posted on my blog about this, but she's also written about it on her blog. And Trello's a great little tool, and I find that Trello is great for someone who's super visual. And if you like Scrum, if you've ha heard anything about the Scrum kind of agile project management framework, then, then perhaps you'll like Trello, because it kind of feels like you've got these digital post-it notes and you're able to move them around. So for me, Trello is great when I'm working with one or one other person, maybe. You know, the notifications on Trello for me aren't enough. And I don't like that I can't just mark things done. It doesn't give me that information that I've finished something. So literally I have to come in and actually see where things are in the process. So I might see that someone is in the process of creating the webinar landing pages, like I just dragged that over, um, and then when it's ready to review, then they pull it over here to me. So I can see that movement and I get those emails and those updates. However, it's not, I like actually checking things off, so it's kind of a little wonky there. But I do like kind of popping in a bunch of different cards saying, okay, I've got this, 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 and to do. And then once things are complete, sorry for that again. Um, once things are complete, then they go over to my complete. And the same thing here. It's like, okay, so I'm doing that. And then perhaps then, you know, if I'm reviewing a customer email sequence and then I want someone else to update those emails, then it gets a little funny because I then have to bring it back in here and then change it. Or perhaps what I should have done is create this, create like a different, kind of a different card. Let me just do this, a little checklist. And then I would review that and then I would pass this on to, you know, upload changes to Infusionsoft. I'll just do that. And then test emails by sending to support at. So then that person would actually be the person um, reviewing them. So what has to happen though at each stage, and this is why I don't use Trello for big projects that other people have to be involved in too much. Like it was great when I was working with my web developer because we would just go back and forth. It was so fun and so easy. So this is likely for me going to be where I keep track of the work I need to do. And then once it's done, then I'm going to go over to Asana and mark it complete. And I know maybe that seems crazy, but there is some fun in just saying, okay, let's say that's done, do whatever. So that's done. One of three is done. And then I can quickly grab something from the bucket, pull it over and then pull it over and then pull it over. Um, it, it might not need anybody's review, but if it does, I can easily add whoever needs to be in here at that time and then just assign that quick thing to them. So basically, to kind of summarize this, Trello for me is, I think, going to be 
It's going to be similar to how I have my whiteboard set up. And honestly, my whiteboard is constantly up. And I always have my kind of to-do list, my doing, and my done list. So in theory, this won't need to be in here unless I'm working with anybody else. Um, hopefully you can see that. And then I can see what happens every single day. Um, let me just see something. No, I don't need to do that. Yeah, so, you know, um, the the bummers with, with Trello for me is that I don't have, you know, and I'm not even looking at this information right now, honestly. Even with, even with, um, I remember when I was using this with Christina and Marie, these two girls that were working with me, um, it was hard to know when something was done and what to do if it was like a two-parted, two-parter task. So I do think it's going to help me work out a lot of things and then I can move things over to Asana, especially if they're going to be worked on by multiple people. However, Asana, man, Asana just, I feel like I can, I can better manage my whole business inside Asana. I can go to my content hub and figure out what has to get done for the week or for the month. I can go through my Ansem Oil Lab hub and kind of move, shift things around that I don't like how things are happening in the business or if I don't no longer want to work on a project, I can manage any of my outreach, um, outreach pieces, anything that I'm doing there or any, any strategy that I have set up, whether it's, oh, I'm going to do a um, big push for being on as many podcasts as I possibly can. So I definitely think that, oh, here's another one, webinar or Google Hangout. I also have like a little template for that, which is loading right now. But I mean, I love that there are templates. I love that I can start them anytime I want. I love that I can add members anytime I want. So, you know, as I talk this out with you, and thanks for letting me do that, I'm realizing how much I do love Asana. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if Trello sticks around, and I'll give you that update in a few weeks. But um, I would just try out and see what works for you. I, I do think having a physical component to your planning and your work and like what you're getting done is important. Like the vision, the visioning part of your process is really great to do on paper by hand. And then as you're adding it in to a sauna or a Rike or a base camp or a Trello, whatever you choose you almost get to do like spring cleaning. It's like moving. You're always going to get rid of stuff that you realize that you don't need. So I say get it all out by hand and then, then bring it all the way in here. And then one more thing I want to share, and I will put this link below, and that is a digital sync, which is really something that I mean, it's an obvious kind of idea of something you do when you have information from various places that need to get into one you know, cohesive system and order. But this was reminded to me by a good friend. You can check her out, Miss Trenchcoat, and I will link to that specific video because I think that in itself, doing that digital sync has been saving me big time. Every single week, I just kind of gather up all my weird places that I might put stuff and I bring it all together. And I bring it all together inside Trello or Asana. Mostly Asana. Fine. I'm looking for a way to bring Trello back in because I really do like it. So maybe I need to just work with one person on Trello just so I can feel, I don't know, like I need, like I'm getting my use out of it. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope this was kind of interesting and helpful. I know that a lot of people do ask, how do I just get things off the ground? How do I get them going? And that first step really is just getting the ideas out of your head, getting them on paper, getting them into some form here. And I just use every single time I use my own templates. The things that I give to my customers are the things that I use. And even I make changes in those as I put them into my own system. I do that on purpose because that's what you should do. Um, so getting off the ground requires you to figure out what it is you want to do and then recording it and then 
getting the accountability for it. So that the first step though is actually just getting it all down. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you want to know me to go into more depth into my Asana setup. I am still working on a lot in this, so I definitely think there could be an update with it very soon. But in the meantime, let me know what your biggest questions are about Asana and Trello and how, and maybe if you've been using them, let me know. So I, maybe there's something I don't know that I need to know about these. Um, yeah, never know. Okay, have a great one. Have a great Sunday. And if you're not, or if you are not already subscribed, hello, people, get on over there. Get on over here and there and click subscribe like this video and also why don't you leave me a comment I love getting comments and I will see you later this week over on the blog and somewhere thanks so much and I'll talk to you soon